weekly creative update. Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to the show, welcome to your favorite YouTuber, Hope. Fully, my name is Carl, and I am a visual artist, and here on YouTube, I share. What do I actually share? I share my creative journey, what I have been doing and what I have been up to the last couple of weeks, or not the last couple of weeks, but the last week. Uh, so I have written down some uh, some things here on the post-it notes, the schedule for today's show. So let's get into it. But first, look at the hat. This is the last time you will see this hat for a while because every month I have uh, a different hat. I have a different hat made by Olivia. Link to her pr Instagram profile will be down in the description. But let's get on with the show. Let's get on with weekly creative update. What have I actually been into this last week? This week has been sort of a weird week because um, I'm uh, I'm going away. I am going uh, I'm going up to create a little exhibition up in the northern part of Sweden uh, to close to Umeå. It is called Bjurholm and uh, there I will stay for a week. I will go there tomorrow and will stay there for a week and I will create an, uh, an exhibition on, uh, on the spot there uh, because uh, I don't have a car. I will go up there with my with my suitcase, with some tools, with a saw and a little uh, a drilling machine and some uh, some papers and uh, pencils and stuff for uh, for drawings up there. So here's a little picture. I will, I've, I've shown this before, but I'm gonna do this big installation. And I also I did a berry dance on the show uh, for another exhibition here, and I also posted uh, on uh, on the channel. Uh, and here is uh, here is the shoes. Uh, this is a new edition. This is with uh, some um, some pink foam uh, or pink reddish foam underneath. And I will be doing will be doing a purple berry dance now, uh, and a little little larger a uh, little larger the piece there on the floor. It's going to be consisting of six uh, plywood uh, sheets. Uh, uh, which I will be having a fun little dance on. So that will be nice. And uh, yeah, I will be doing a little series, a little vlog series of that uh, coming up here. I will be trying to document it as best as I can, my stay there. Uh, I, I call it uh, a mini residency slash, slash exhibition. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. It will be fun, and it will be sh fun showing you guys what it, uh, what uh, I will be up to up there. So uh, that will be. It will be an exciting week. And next week, for the weekly creative update, I will do it up there. I will do it up there. So uh, so that's gonna be uh, exciting. I am looking forward to it. And for uh, for the next thing that I have been doing, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been uh, telling you guys about the sketch mission. And I'm actually doing the last fixes now. It's for a school. It's in Gothenburg. It's this public art sketch mission. It's me and two other artists competing to 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 get to do it in real life. Uh, it's gonna be a huge uh, piece on a facade and some pieces on a fence in wood. So I'm gonna send in my proposal now. After this, actually, just going through the last checks, and then I will send it in so I can focus full, fully on the exhibition I carry berries up in Umeå. Uh, so that is really good, and then I can tick that bo box off and uh, uh, just have uh, something less on my mind. But there's always new stuff coming up. Into that right now, because I have received a little grant, a grant. Uh, for a project that I started last year, which was uh, took part in me going to Bologna in Italy and studied the old towers in that town. Uh, it's famous for its town. In the in the medieval times, there was more than hundred town uh, uh, towers uh, uh, in the town, and it's uh, that was kind of unusual because the town isn't that big. It's kind of a compact city and a, a small city, uh, so that was uh, that was remarkable. But now it's all 
probably around 15 towers left. I uh, saw so star documented it. I uh, traveled up, uh, walked up in the, in the highest tower and you can see all over the city. But uh, I haven't uh, really moved on with that project. But so I got some funding for that uh, to, to investigate those towers a little bit more and build some models and uh, sculptures around it. It's going to be a project in the borderland between art and architecture, which will be fun. Uh, but the thing is that I applied with it and I said that I need funding from two parts. So I got a funding from one part now and they won't give me the money until I have funding from another part. So I need to go out looking for that. So, so the money is on hold until I get funding from another part. But hopefully I can do that. I think the possibility to get funding when you have already got some funding uh, it's, it's larger uh, than if you don't have any funding from before. So I will go, go in and investigate that uh, further on. But uh, that is great news. Uh, some money coming in, hopefully, if I, if I manage to get the under, other, other funding here. Um, but that will be exciting. The Bologna Tower project uh, coming, coming along, hopefully, in the future. That's, uh, this will be really nice. And um, this, tie, this tie is a special... Uh, special tie because it is from Bologna it is from the summer we visited there and uh, that's why it is so so wrinkly or what you call it it's because I found it on the ground when I walked home at night to the Airbnb from the town then it was just laying there uh, and I took it uh, but I haven't really I should iron it but uh, this is an homage to that uh, to that uh, trip and to the upcoming project, which which is fun. And some other great news is that I have received a residency uh, for two weeks. It's also in the northern part of Sweden. It is in um, what is it called? It's um, it's uh, I can't reveal too much, but it's this UNESCO uh, world. What is it even called? Uh, Vatch Arvin Swedish. I uh, don't know what is this in English. Put, we'll be putting it up here. Uh, world Heritage, maybe. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, but it's uh, I won't reveal too much. But because they said I shouldn't do that because I haven't uh, accepted it yet. But that's also something I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna send a, a letter to them or an email, say that I will go. It's in the end of. It's in the two 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 weeks in May, the last two weeks in May, and I can go there. And there is a nice atelier, and there is a nice, uh, uh, just nice space, nice surrounding in out in nature, and I can go there and focus on my work for two weeks, which will be amazing. Um, so a residency and a grant received this week. Uh, great, great news! Uh, things are popping off, and for another thing. A lot of you guys have been requesting some um, that I should do a web shop. You want stickers, you want uh, posters of my paintings, you want uh, all sort of stuff. Uh, but I don't have that. Uh, I will need. I, I will set up that. But if you want to buy anything, just reach out. You can send me an email, or you can send me a DM on Instagram, or write something down here in the comments if you if you're keen on doing that. Until I have my web shop up and running, we can figure it out. Uh, because it would be a shame if you want something and uh, I don't have a web shop. So just reach out to me, and the web shop will be up for all of you guys who has been requesting it. That's a little fun thing coming up in the future. Uh, I'm looking forward to it and I can also mention that there was this uh, lovely Italian uh, guy that also wrote me a really nice um, really nice DM on Instagram and he wanted to buy a shirt so I'm gonna send him a shirt. Uh, I have some shirt left of that and I'm also planning on printing up some new shirts if you are interested in that thing. Uh, just, uh, just show me if you are. The next part that is actually Discord and the Discord channel is running up. We almost have 100 members there and I have some different threads uh, and people are discussing and exploring different uh, different things about art and uh, talking and sharing experience, sharing their art, uh, discussing other people's art and uh, just having a good time. Uh, as an <laughs> I've said this a lot of times now, but I have not been in there uh, that much but I will 
because it seems so nice and I will go, need to go in there in the CCCC Carl's Creative Community Cult uh, the cult leader is coming in maybe, maybe, maybe uh, and we can have a talk we can put up uh, this voice channel and we can uh, we can have a nice chat about something if you have any recommendation what we should talk about write it also down in the comments now it is time. I'm not prepared as usual, guys, but let's look at the weekly question coming in here from S A is one V X, and it goes like this: the fear of failure paralyzes me into inaction. How do I get out of the funk? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How do you get out of the funk? How do you get out of the fear of failure? Failure. Everyone fails all of the time. That's how we learn. We need to fail, 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 fail. Uh, and that's... Uh, you learn by failure. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't be afraid of that. Uh, you should embrace it. Uh, you should embrace the failure and just keep going. And uh, some things to keep you starting and get out of the funk and keep going is to just sit down and don't really uh, gather some material and uh, uh, some glue or tape or whatever to, to, to connect it. And then you just start, start making some small models or sculptures or sketches or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and you set the timer and you, you just, you maybe go uh, uh, take inspiration from a picture or uh, re uh, reinterpret that. Uh, or you, you, you take part, you, you write down some w words like, uh, um, what could it be? It could be soft versus hard it can could be uh, order and chaos and and work with uh, and work from words um, uh, that could be a good thing and it's a timer for 50 minutes and you do some little thing and uh, then you set a new timer and on 50 minutes and build a little other small thing and uh, then maybe build five six seven things and then you go back and then you start to reflect and then you find oh this was interesting and this was fun uh, what can i do with this you just uh, keep going and you don't bother about the result you just keep making and don't really think and you think afterwards and that's uh, a really good um, exercise to to get into to to this quick model making uh, panic design kind of thing uh, me and my girlfriend actually had a workshop that was called Panic Design here in the last week, and we we did this challenge where you you took inspiration from a from a painting or you wrote r wrote down some words that you that was the what you were gonna create from, and then you just did it in a fast time. So that's a little tip from me that you could do to to just keep going and stick start creating and don't be afraid of failure because we fail a lot of the time I do it mostly maybe 95% of the things that I do is failure uh, but that last 5% that's really good so hopefully you can get something out of it but for now over to you Carl thanks so much for that Carl we are in the update segment and we're running it through let's go YouTube I want to achieve this is uh, for excuse me for this period is uh, from the 1st of March to the last of May and this is some goals I want to achieve uh, YouTube I want to have 5,000 subscriber that is the goal right now we are at 4,119 up 49 since last week good job there for next one, it's Instagram followers. I want to reach 2,500. And right now, we're up 14. So, 1,989. I wanted to create uh, 12 TikToks, short videos, super surreal, work process diary. There, I've only been creating two. And link is down in the description if you want to see those small kind of fun videos. But I will need to do more there. Uh, short format is not my thing. That's why I wanted to want to try it out because I like talking to you guys really, really much. Doing this all the time. You're sitting here and gathering my 
energy and sourcing out through the camera and hopefully I can inspire you to be creative. Uh, but for now, let's go on to the next one. Sell things for 10,000 Swedish crowns. And I have started, I've sold my first thing now and I am at 400 there. So up 400, it was for the shirt that is gonna be shipped off to Italy. Uh, if you want something similar, contact me. You know where I live on the internet. So to speak, creative love letters, it's uh, something that I send out uh, on Instagrams through stories, uh, an appreciation post of an artist that inspires me, uh, which, the artist, uh, which the artist works that I am really, really fond of. So I do a little shout out there, you can go and see, I've saved it up in the stories under love letters. And that's artist that is really, really cool. So one more there, so seven out of 20. And I wanted to achieve or I wanted to get one more sketch mission uh, as my uh, old one that I talk about, have been talking about for ages now. Uh, the school in Gothenburg, that is one that is gonna be finished off now. So I'm looking for another one uh, and hopefully I can achieve one until the last of May. I'm applying, 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 but I, oh, have always got the no, 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 except this, uh, the, the, the one I got. Uh, but I've only received one of those, so, uh, but uh, for now we're at zero out of one. Uh, and the last part here is prepare for Patreon. You guys know that I have a Patreon now, or you knew, or you know now at least that I do. So go in there and check it out and sign up for member. You can sign up for free uh, and you, or you can sign up and support me by paying in, I don't know, five, seven, six bucks or something a month. Uh, but uh, that uh, Patreon will be done when uh, when the last of May is approaching because then the goal for this is to have six videos up there uh, and that will be, it will be super special uh, scenes, behind the scenes. Uh, where I show interesting work or that I even have m even more raw material, raw behind the scenes material. Uh, and I've actually recorded the first video and I will be putting it out here later today or maybe tomorrow. Maybe I will do the first one for free and the other five will be coming in for the subscribers uh, there for the paying Patreons, but we'll see. But for now, one out of six. So sign up there if you want to see more uh, special things. And follow me on YouTube here if you are watching and you're not subscribing. Why are you not even doing that? Uh, subscribe and comment if you like the show or even if you hate the show. Uh, if you have some haters out there, it is showing that you've made it. You made it on YouTube if you have some haters. But I don't have that many haters. Uh, but maybe you are a hater or maybe you're a lover. Let's see. Uh, but do that. And also, if you're here and you have an Instagram page, and don't follow me there, go in there and follow me on Instagram because there is where you can see all of my work uh, that I put out there. It's good for still images. <laughs> so back to you, Carl. Thank you, thank you so much for that. The number is rolling in. It's nice to see. It's always good to see the plus signs going on there and things are going forward slowly but steady. But now, this is the last segment of the show. This is what all of you guys enjoy so much. It is the wise words coming in and talking about failure here earlier in the episode. I wanna get back to that. I want to make it clear that we need to fail all of the time to succeed. How else can we learn? I um, I thought about failure earlier in my life that it was wrong you shouldn't do that it's not uh, it's not in society in the norms it's not uh, I it's not appreciated or it's not uh, like um, preached on to that you should fail because um, that's why there is this mentality that everyone is afraid of of failure and doing bad and comparing themselves with others uh, but <laughs> we need to remember guys that we all are on our own journey and. Uh, we are learning so much from failure. And I had the other video here that was uh, my breakout video. That was the best uh, performing video that I had that I said something like uh, being bad at stuff is cool or something. This, this, this video maybe will be called being bad at stuff is cool too. <laughs> 
uh, but it, it really is. Uh, you have to, to be bad. You have to fail, fail, fail over again to learn something. And as I said earlier, I, I fail almost... I fail on a daily basis and I fail at most of the stuff. But if you don't do it, if you wouldn't even put yourself out there, there would be no possibility to 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 achieve what you want to. Uh, but most of the time you fail when you, you're going for something, you want to achieve something, you are going to fail. But if you don't put yourself out there, you will have zero chance. You will have zero percent, uh, percent of... of, of uh, of uh, succeeding. Uh, so I think that's a really, really important message to send out there to to everyone that you just, um, just embrace it, just embrace the failure, embrace being bad, and that's the only way we can be good at something. That's the only way we can improve. Uh, and uh, as I said here, I was so afraid of it before, but now I am really... Just really, just really trying to fail as much as possible because I want to grow, grow as an artist, grow as a person, and uh, develop my skills in so many areas. And we const constantly need to learn new stuff and uh, and develop and develop. And uh, that is how we grow. And how would we grow if we, we don't fail all of the time? Uh, now it's been a long episode. And I have been rambling on and hopefully you have enjoyed it. And the next week I will see you up in Budholm where I have done a lovely little exhibition. Hopefully the Saturday when the Venisage is, is going to be really good. Really, really good. I, I hope for it. I share for it. I uh, share for myself. Come on now, Carl. And I share for you guys. Come on now, guys. Go out there. Do your things. Fail over and over again. Uh, because I'm sure of it, you will succeed. And uh, if you want to tell your mother, your father, your grandparents, your neighbors, your dogs, your cats, um, or other pets as well, to subscribe to the show if they want to see some creative action going on. And um, yeah, that it was it for this show. This was all over the place, I think. Uh, it was to the right, to the left, to the up, to the down, to the center of the square in the camera that I'm looking into. But for now, I'm tuning out. I just want to wish you a good Sunday. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>